just like with diversity, I mean, we really here at UCSF Fresno want to have a holistic approach to training residents, fellows, and, and medical students so that they can be really competent, compassionate, resilient physicians. We really focus on providing skills and tools to our residents and trainees to be resilient, uh, to focus on their own wellness and self-care with the realization that you can only really care for other patients and other people if you take care of yourself as well. This place offers some of the best training in clinical medicine. It's a training that's second to none. It's phenomenal. The challenges, the disease pathology that you will see, I can confidently say, there are very few places or even countries in the world that would offer such diversity in one training hospital. I felt that we had a superb experience here in Fresno where we were exposed to both the urban and rural settings, um, which is different populations, different needs. It was a very strong foundation that I built in residency training, so when I graduated, I felt like I can do anything. We're the only level one trauma center between LA and San Francisco. We get a lot of really good trauma, really great for resident training. I think we just see such a wide variety for the area and get to do a lot and work a lot with those patients and be very hands-on. For me, training, that was very important. I like being hands-on, involved. You know, I do much better if I see it in a patient rather than reading about it in a book. Um, I think it's also important for just going into practice wherever you are. You want to take care of a wide variety of patients. You want to take care of underserved patients, which is also one of the reasons I wanted to come to Fresno. We do have a very large Hispanic population, um, but we also have a very large Indian population. We have um, one of the largest Hmong populations in the country. You have people from every socioeconomic class. A lot of urban traumas, we get a lot of agricultural traumas, and so even within that population, we get a large variety. I have a particular focus in LGBT healthcare, and so we're trying to make sure that we're improving the LGBT healthcare in the community. The thing that stands out about our institution is our catchment area, because we cover from the Central Coast all the way up into the national parks, even all the way down to Bakersfield. So that's a huge catchment when you look at it. It's the vast array of pathology, because you have like the agricultural injuries that happen in the exposures. We have the heat strokes that happen in the summer, but we still deal with hypothermia in the wintertime, because sometimes it gets cold enough, more individuals are coming frozen as popsicles. It's very hard to find a program that sees that wide range. You don't have to go to multiple places to see everything in one building. The nice thing about the Central Valley is that you just have the ease of living. It's a lot less hectic than a lot of big cities, but you still have all the amenities that a big city has. I don't have to sit in traffic for 20 minutes getting to work. Hey, I can afford a house, and uh, the cost of living here is pretty good. Yeah, Fresno is a great community. There's a, a hundred things you could do with your kids, put them into gymnastics, swim, and all that. And it's a very nice community to raise your family. It's very easy to live here. It's like errands get done really quickly. There's not a lot of traffic. Your life quality is very high. There's concerts of very prominent artists who come by, and I've gone to those and with my friends, and it's really fun. Fresno is a very agriculturally prominent area, and so there's a lot of farmer's markets that I go to, and I like to buy the really fresh produce, and I like to cook with it, and that is such a fun thing for me. Woodward Park has a Shakespeare festival and there's some live theaters here as well. Fresno has a lot available. You go outside, it's sunny every single day. You can do whatever activity you want to. You're not limited by the weather, your surroundings, or even finances as a resident. You know, time is your most important uh, thing that you desire when you're a resident. So being, making the most of your, your time outside of work, I think is, is super important. I also like to eat. Part of being in a city that has such a diverse cultures means that you can eat almost any kind of food. And so it's always fun to go out and explore food you haven't tried before or a different spin on food. The other thing is that you're so close to some of the most beautiful areas in the country with Yosemite Valley. The first time I um, went to Yosemite was after I moved out here and it's beautiful. I got a season pass. Um, we usually go um, a couple times a year. UCSF Fresno in general, they have a lot of resident-sponsored activities. I'm on a co-ed soccer team, so I can play indoor soccer with other residents. We play once a week. There's actually two leagues. 
There's a basketball league I know that residents play and some of the attendings come. They have yoga for residents and, and they just kind of always talk to you about wellness and check in and make sure you're, you're not being overstressed, you're not being overworked and, and have a lot of opportunities for residents to do things together and kind of you know, be people outside of work, which I think is really important. For residents or faculty, well, if you're considering UC Fresno, you should come here if you have the chance. It's one of the most phenomenal and strong clinical programs anywhere in the country. In terms of teaching, resources, UC Fresno is truly the best.